you get asked many things. What are you doing? Why are you dressed as a guy? Is that a wig? Are those contacts? Did you make that? What is cosplay? So here, I'm ready to start a series called Cosplay 101, where I'm gonna be discussing random cosplay subjects that are on the top of my head off the fly. So, because there's just many subjects to discuss within the cosplay community, so I'm just like going, yeah, I'll do that. <clears throat> so let's start off right off the bat. What is cosplay? Cosplay is costume play, which means basically cosplaying a certain thing from a certain thing. Now I say that so vaguely because it can be whatever you want to be. You can cosplay someone from real life if you wanted to. I've seen many people cosplay real life celebrities and um, like for example Markiplier. There was a person that cosplayed Markiplier at the last convention I attended. It was great and he was very lifelike. It was amazing. Or there's people that cosplay from bands like Kiss and stuff like that and it's awesome. Or from BTS, I've seen people cosplay V a lot, it's great. What I'm saying is cosplay is not just about anime and video games because that seems to be the main theme of what people say cosplay is about. Like when they say someone says cosplay, you go, oh, anime and video game conventions, right? And I'm like, yeah, but that's not all cosplay is. You can cosplay from movies, you can cosplay from books, you can cosplay from documentaries if you want to, you can cosplay animals if you so please. So, yeah. There's a wide subject within cosplay. It's not just one thing, it's many things. You basically can do whatever the frig you want to. You can do stuff that's not even canon and there's fan art. It's amazing. There's many different genres within the cosplay community as well. Like there's steampunk and stuff like that. And there's uh, Lolita. And there's like um, Hirojuku. I'm pretty sure I said that wrong. God damn it. You also don't have to be specific colour, size, gender, or race to cosplay. That doesn't matter, and if someone says it does, they're talking BS, because it really doesn't. You can be an Asian person and cosplay an American. You can be a black person and cosplay a white person. You can be a male and cosplay a female and vice versa. Doesn't matter. You can be a plus size person and cosplay a thin person. It doesn't matter. If they say it matters, it's just because it bothers them. It doesn't bother the rest of us. It's just a load of BS. And oh, we wish we can get away with from that stigma because it's goddamn annoying. And I feel like I'm repeating myself every time the subject comes up. Basically what cosplay is, is a hobby for a multitude of people. People that take it as a serious profession, like the professional cosplayers, or people that take it like moi as a hobby because it's so much fun. And you learn so much life skills from it. Like you learn how to costume, you learn how to make props, you learn how to do public speaking, acting. It's a whole lot of skills you can learn after doing cosplay for such a long period of time. But in saying that, you don't have to make your costumes to be a cosplayer. That is very important. You can buy costumes and still be a cosplayer. And I'm not saying that because I also buy costumes as well as making them. Because you are giving people jobs if you buy costumes and people tend to forget that. There are amazing people that make costumes online for a job. And they are amazing. Bless them. They are amazing at what they do. And they do it so well and very quickly. They pick up on shows like extremely quickly. It's amazing how fast they can do it. Like when the first episode airs, they've got a costume today. It's brilliant. They're geniuses of what they do. Anyway, so what I'm trying to get at is cosplay is for fun. Cosplay is for everybody and I hope you join the community or I hope you have a better respect for the community or a better outlook on the community because we're not as volatile as some people say we are. <laughs> We've got sort of a bad reputation, I guess, within our own community, and it's sad because most of the people I meet are lovely people, and they're amazing people to talk to, and they're very passionate about what they do, and they're amazingly friendly at conventions, so if you see them at conventions, say hi, we like talking, we really do like talking, unless we're eating, we don't like talking while we're eating, don't go to us while we're eating, but yeah. We love talking to people, we love connecting with people, and I hope you go to your local convention or local meets, or local screening and stuff like that and say hi because we're actually really nice. <laughs> so I'll see you all later and mwah.